Crusoe in England by Elizabeth Bishop. A new volcano has erupted, the papers say. And last week I was reading where some ship saw an island being born. At first a breath of steam ten miles away, and then a black fleck, basalt probably, rose in the mate's binoculars and caught on the horizon like a fly. They named it, but my poor old island still unrediscovered, unrenameable. None of the books has ever got it right. Well, I had 52 miserable small volcanoes I could climb with a few slithery strides. Volcanoes dead as ash heaps. I used to sit on the edge of the highest one and count the others standing up, naked and leaden with their heads blown off. I think that if they were the size I thought volcanoes should be, then I had become a giant. And if I had become a giant, I couldn't bear to think what size. The goats and turtles were, or the gulls, or the overlapping rollers, a glittering hexagon of rollers closing and closing in, but never quite glittering and glittering through the sky, was mostly overcast. My island seemed to be a sort of cloud dump. All the hemispheres left over clouds arrived and hung above the craters, their parched throats were hot to touch. Was it that why it rained so much and why sometimes the whole place hissed? The turtles lumbered by high domed, hissing like tea kettles. And I'd have given years or taken a few for any sort of kettle, of course. The folds of lava running out to sea would hiss. I turn and then they proved to be more turtles. The beaches were all lava variegated, black, red and white and grey. The marbled colours made a fine display. And I had water spouts, oh, half a dozen at a time, far out. They'd come and go, advancing and retreating. Their clouds their heads in, in a cloud, their feet in moving patches of scuffed up white, glass chimneys, flexible, attenuated, sacerdotal beings of glass, I watched, the water spiral up in them like smoke, beautiful, yes, but not much company. I often gave way to self-pity. Do I deserve this? I suppose I must. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Was there a moment when I actually chose this? I don't remember. But they could have been. What's wrong about self-pity anyway? With my legs dangling down familiarly over a crater's edge, I told myself, pity should begin at home. So the more pity I felt, the more I felt at home. The sun set in the sea, the same odd sun rose from the sea. And there was one of it and one of me. The island had one kind of everything. One tree snail, a bright violet blue, with a thin shell crept over everything, over the one variety of tree. A sooty scrub of air. Snail shells lay under these in drifts and at a distance. You'd swear that they were beds of irises. There was one kind of berry, a dark red. I tried it one by one and hours apart. Sub acid and not bad, no ill effect. And so I made homebrew. I drink that awful fizzy stinging stuff that went straight to my head and play my homemade flute. 
I think it had the weirdest scale on earth. And Dizzy whoop and dance among the goats. Homemade, homemade, but aren't we all? I felt a deep affection for the smallest of my island industries. No, not exactly, since the smallest was a miserable philosophy. Because I didn't know enough, why didn't I know enough of something? Greek drama or astronomy? The books I read were full of blanks. The poems, well, I tried reciting to my iris beds. They flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss. The bliss of what? One of the first things that I did when I got back was look it up. Dreams were the worst. Of course, I dreamed of food and love, but they were pleasant rather than otherwise. But then I dream of things like slitting a baby's throat, mistaking it. For a baby goat, I'd have nightmares of other islands. Stretching away from mine, infinities of islands. Island spawning islands. Like frogs' eggs. Turning into polywogs of islands. Knowing that I had to live on each and every one eventually for ages. Registering their flora, their fauna, their geography. Just when I thought I couldn't stand it another minute longer, Friday came. Accounts of that have everything all wrong. Friday was nice. Friday was nice and we were friends. If only he had been a woman. I wanted to propagate my kind. And so did he, I think, poor boy. He'd pet the baby goats sometimes and raise with them or carry one around. Pretty to watch, he had a pretty body. And then one day they came and took us off.